You're in the mix with DJ Allen. What's up, everybody? DJ Allen here. Hey, I'm here uh, driving to pick up my daughters. I'm feeling a whole lot better from this weekend. I was super, super trash. <clears throat> I still have a little cold going on. Um, but uh, other than that, let's take the freeway. Um, other than that, it's um, it's going really good. Um, I'm going to start doing videos um, weekly now. So um, I'm trying to do at least three a week. Uh, I'm not busy with school right now. So I'm kind of trying to make, make it work. Uh, we're going to do some funny videos. We're going to do some serious videos. We're going to do some DJ videos. It's going to be crazy. Uh, this video might seem a little boring to you guys, but I do have a couple of questions uh, that came to my mind. Uh, finishing off the year, I have the last couple gigs that I need to do. Um, one of uh, Both of them are private parties, uh, thank God. And then La Ramada Bar on the 22nd, you don't want to miss that. And then we start the new year. I have nothing for New Year's. I try to not not uh, book anything for New Year's because uh, one, nobody can afford DJ Allen on New Year's Eve. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but it's fucking true. Uh, nobody can afford DJ Allen on New Year's Eve. Uh, and if you're one of the lucky ones, come through. I got you at. Um, that being said, uh, I try to leave that day for my family, but if a good enough offer comes through, of course, I will take it, uh, but I will also take my family. Now, nah, now, nah. uh, business is business. If you book me for New Year's Eve, you're going to get a badass party, but nobody can afford New Year's Eve, so New Year's Eve is top dollar event, so you guys uh, know that, um, you know, if you're trying to throw a wedding or a quinceanera, it is overpriced because everybody is busy. Um, if I book that day, good. If I don't book that day, good. I get to spend it with my family. I get to chill. Um, also, I actually have to work that day at my other job. So um, uh, it's it's crazy. <laughs> um, work a 12-hour shift and then do a New Year's party, which I don't mind doing. I've done it in the past. <clears throat> Jesus, man. Can't stop coughing. But um, other than that, I mean, like I said, New Year's Eve is a top dollar event. So if you're trying to get a party for two hundred dollars, it's not gonna happen, guys. It's a top dollar event. Any DJ can tell you that. Um, again, uh, letting you guys know the start of the new year is um, something good, something to uh, have fun with. Your, you know, make New Year's. A lot of people make New Year's resolutions, which is good. Uh, losing weight. Uh, doing all of that. Me, my New Year's resolution is to book every weekend next year. Uh, right now, as it's looking, uh, May is a very popular month for DJ Allen, and so is June. June, uh, May and June are very popular months for DJ Allen, and so is um, the beginning part of July. That's when everybody's having their outside weddings. Everybody's having their uh, quinceañeras, their their bautizos, their, you know, wh whatever you want to call it, birthday parties, uh, new, uh, 4th of July, um, Father's Day, Mother's Day, May, June, and July are very busy months for DJ Allen. Uh, graduations also in June. Uh, I know WSU graduates uh, at the beginning of May. Uh, shout out to all you WSU people. Uh, my wife's actually graduating in May. Uh, from WSU, she's done. She's done um, on Thursday with everything, but she, you know when she walks and she does all of that stuff uh, at the campus at WSU, it's going to be till June. Um, WSU has a winter graduation, but um, that's the Pullman campus. Uh, my wife goes to the uh, Tri Cities campus, the WSU Tri Cities, so they don't have a winter graduation. Um, but yeah, go Cougs! Um, also, uh, like I said, those months are hella busy for DJ Allen. So, um, if you haven't booked your event, um, I can do up to three events in the same day. Uh, DJ Allen has, uh, the equipment to do up to three events in one day. Um, you just have to, you know, let me know if it is booked, um, 
if it is booked for a big event, I will be at the big event. So don't be don't be discouraged, but you'll get the same service, same craziness. Um, obviously, DJ Allen is going to be at the bigger event because it is probably the most expensive event. Uh, not to say like, oh, like your party is only 50 bucks. Your party was 100, so I'm going to go to the 100 one. It's not about the money. It's just about... Well, I guess it is fucking about the money. What am I talking about? Um, it is about the money because people invest in their parties. The less you invest, obviously, uh, you get what you pay for. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that one. But um, you guys get what you pay for. <clears throat> so um, not that it's going to be a bad service. The other DJs that I work with, they're amazing. They're, uh, they're really good. Um, you won't be disappointed. Um, wow, there's a lot of fog today, man. It's starting to leave the exit. Um, the other DJs that I work with, they're amazing. I'm not saying, oh, no, don't pay them top dollar or whatever. It's just um, DJ Allen will be at the bigger event. Um, so if your event is not big enough, I am very sorry. Um, but uh, DJ Allen will be at the bigger event. Um, unless... Unless you're like, you know what? Well, I want this, 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 and this. Of course, of course, DJ Allen's going to be at your event. Um, but it is hard. I know people are on a budget. I'm not saying, hey, <coughs> grab the most expensive package. Grab the most expensive stuff from DJ Allen, which uh, is spendy. Uh, I know people have their budgets and people try to follow them as much as they can. But you know, sometimes you gotta um, you gotta invest in your party. Uh, like I tell people sometimes, um, and this is not to be rude to anybody or um, or discourage anybody of throwing a party. It's just um, like my mom always used to tell me this: um, "Si no tienes dinero, pa qué vas a hacer un pinche party?" Uh, that's that's what my mom used to tell. That's what my mom used to tell me, and I kind of feel like it is pretty accurate. Like, if uh, if you're gonna pay the caterer, uh, you know, whatever, two thousand dollars to cater your event, and you're only paying the DJ two hundred dollars, obviously you're gonna receive a two hundred dollar performance from the DJ. Uh, not saying that it's gonna be bad. Maybe maybe the two hundred dollar performance is probably the best performance you've ever had <coughs> at your event, but. Uh, you you do have to look at, you know, the the performance wise. Obviously, a DJ starting out is probably going to charge you two three hundred dollars the whole night. They're going to DJ eight hours um, for four hundred dollars or six hundred dollars. Uh, they'll DJ eight hours. Um, it's really hard for me to do that at the point where I'm at right now. Um, because I feel like I know my value. Uh, once you know your value, um, you, you follow that. I have turned down gigs before. People are like, you know what, Alan? Um, I found a better price um, <coughs> from some, some from someone else. Uh, I'm like, okay, cool. I, I don't get disappointed. I don't get discouraged. There is more, uh, how would you say it? I'm just one fish in a big-ass pond. And, um, you know. I, I think I think that um, that means a lot. Um, I want everybody to be busy. Uh, shout out to all my other DJs, uh, DJ H Boss, uh, Scandaloso, uh, DJ Scorpion, uh, <coughs> DJ Vibra, DJ Buzz. Um, who else? Uh, DJ Roger. Um, who else? Oh, DJ DJ uh, Jose. Uh, and called DJ DJ Wero or Wapo or something like that. Uh, he's awesome. He's from Wild Horse. Go check him out. He has his mixes after the band performs at Wild Horse. Um, amazing. Uh, all these guys are amazing DJs. They're good. Uh, who else? Oh, shout out to Cuatrero. <coughs> uh, shout out to uh, Sonido Elegante. I, I think he still. I think he still plays. Uh, I haven't seen him much. Uh, shout out to uh, Sonido Azteca. Um, shout out to uh, Changoleon. I think he. I, I think he's still. Uh, yeah, I think. I, I think. I think he's doing stuff. And and to all the other Sonidos here around town, around Wawa, Milton Freewater, uh, all the groups. Uh, shout out to them. 
um, I know there's a lot of us, and I know everybody's hungry, man. Everybody's hungry. Everybody needs to eat. So um, if we're booked every single weekend, all of us that I just named, or the people that I didn't name, <clears throat> so be it, man. I, I like it when we're all booked because that's when the actual competition starts. When the actual competition starts, they're gonna they're not gonna go by price. They're gonna go by style. Uh, if they like your style, they're gonna go with you. If they like his style, they're gonna go. Price is not even gonna matter at that point because um, you know they're gonna like what they what they got. Uh, and I think that's a big benefit to me because I have my own style. I don't expect nobody to follow me or uh, nobody to um, to try to to try to kill me. There, there's so many parties going on at all times, even for Walla Walla and Mount Freewater. There's always fucking parties going on. Uh, I know these are <coughs> Jesus. I know uh, we live in Walla Walla in a small town or whatever. Uh, Mount Freewater, small town. Um, I, Jesus. But I honestly think there is enough events to go around for everybody. Nobody needs to be sad. Uh, nobody, no, you know. Oh, why is DJ Allen booking all these fucking events? Fucking, I fucking hate him. Um, no, don't hate. Don't hate. Hustle. That's what I tell people. Hustle. If you want to book events, you hustle those events. Um, you go after those events. Oh, you're having a party? Hey, hey, you got a DJ? What's up? Like, get on that way. Um, oh yeah, oh, oh, you already got a DJ, DJ Allen? <laughs> okay, well, uh, can't compete with that, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, no guys, um, I want there to be work for everybody, and if that involves everybody being busy on the same day, Illuminati art. Um, but no, shout out to everybody that does music, uh, if you're a performer, shout out to you as well, uh, performing is actually really hard. And a lot of people say, um, <clears throat> a lot of people say, hey, you know what, like, fucking, you know, DJs just play music. Yeah, we play music, but you know what? I turn it into a performance. Um, I turn it into a performance. And, and like I tell people, hey, you're just playing music. People that come up to me, it's like, oh, man, this is easy. You're just playing music and stuff like that. I'm like, hey, man, take over. Let's do it. Let's see what you got. If you if you can outdo me while I'm DJing, that's awesome, man. I fucking I I, I will applaud you, um, cause it, it is it is it is hard work. And those of you who are DJs and know what it is, it's not just standing up there and playing music. It's actually some fucking intelligent shit. Me, I don't use playlists. I don't go off of main playlist. I go by what the crowd is feeling. If the crowd's not feeling a song, boom, next song, let's go. Um, try to get it, uh, try to get it done, you know. Well, uh, with that, guys, I'll leave you guys here. Remember, remember, if you're gonna book an event with DJ Allen, right now is the time to do so because the dates are filling up quick. Um, just to let you guys know, from the my last event in October, October 2019 would be. Uh, October 12th, and I won't be back in the United States till till November 2nd. No, till November 1st. I'll be back November 1st. I have um, a wedding over there, uh, but I'm but I'm leaving for two weeks. So from the tw from October 12th, from October 13th, 2019 to November 1st, 2019, I won't be here. So. Uh, don't try to contact me for any events because uh, I just won't do them. <coughs> I will rent equipment, though, uh, though on those days. Uh, so just let me know, DJ Allen. We'll see you guys later. Peace. You're in the mix with DJ Allen.